Heart of Darkness was one that promised to be one hell of a show and it did just that. We saw Tommy Egan return, Tariq catching his first body of Power Book 2, Ghost, and Monet now knowing Tariq is the one who killed his father. I'm discussing everything we saw in the finale for Season 1 of Power Book 2, Ghost, so welcome back to MovieBot. Let's talk about Power Book 2, Ghost, Season Finale. So hope you're doing great this morning and we just witnessed the season finale of Power Book 2 go season 1 and with Tommy Egan returning this was one hell of a show and wow there's a lot to talk about but I'm going to be going through everything we saw in this review and recap but remember to drop your thoughts and comments down below on the finale in the comment section because I will be putting together my second video later on for the evening I'll be putting a lot of your guys comments up on my video talking the main points so remember to drop your thoughts and comments on the episode down below especially on Tommy Egan's return. But without further ado, let's get into this episode review and recap. And this episode started with Monet actually meeting up with Rico with Owl and we were wondering whether or not Rico would be showing up because there was hell to pay after he shot up the bar and almost killed Drew and I thought Kane may go on a little uh, redemption rampage and help to get rid of Rico but it was in fact Monet who lit his ass up and Monet has finally arrived to Power Book 2 Ghost. This is Monet to harder because this is the Monet that everybody was just waiting to see but this right here, this minute she got rid of her connect just made me think about what I've been talking about for the last couple of weeks and whether Tommy Egan could be their next connect and I'm going to be coming to Tommy in just a moment because I'm going to be talking about Tasha's case because it was really a quick scene in the episode. The minute I saw Tasha's case starting very early on in the episode I knew there was going to be a hell of a lot of action that we were going to get to and I'm going to come to all of that in just a moment. But Tariq St. Patrick he takes the stand and Sax questions him about where he was the night his father was murdered and whether or not he saw Tasha at truth and Tariq twisted this whole thing upside down put this right back on Sax by saying that he saw Cooper Sax at truth the night Ghost died with a gun and that he also followed him to his father's grave the night of his birthday a few weeks ago and also had him drugged. Tariq said he didn't know where he was going himself so how did Sax know? And the reason Tariq brought this up now and focused specifically on him being drugged was because he knew Sax had the recording which he couldn't do shit with anyway. Tariq stopped short of mentioning Riley's name and this is one I believe could continue to rumble on into season 2 because Riley is going to show up again at some point and Brayden, we all know how we can trust Brayden now. Especially when Riley turned up and he told her that she fucked up but Tariq did say that what she had for him was real. So I do think what we spoke about a few weeks ago with Riley actually working with Tariq and Brayden could actually happen but Sax and Davis McLean were taken into the chamber shortly followed by Stephen Knott who showed his muscle about how much power he really has and this whole case was dismissed. He had Sax fired which results in him working with Davis McLean now which we learned at the end of the episode but it meant Tasha St. Patrick having to admit that Tommy Egan was the kingpin and the one who ran the entire operation and at this moment in time there was no fucking doubt in my mind that we were all going to see Tommy Egan again. They were just building and building up for it. In fact I've been saying it all season long. They've been building up to what we saw from the very first episode when Tasha name dropped Tommy, that's when I knew Tommy would be gunning for her and gun for her he did. So let's move on and talk about that first glimpse that we had of Tommy Egan because now with Tasha being released from prison, she gave her speech to the press and how they needed to run because she knew that Tommy was coming for them but she needed to pay a little visit to Monet first because Monet now owns Tariq. Tasha spoke to Monet mother to mother and said that she needs him out of the business but Monet said that she didn't go looking for Tariq, he found her. But Tasha said that her son tried to kill Tariq and did she mean to raise him that way and just as Monet was stamping down the law with Tasha and telling her that this is who Tariq is now, here comes the gunshots and at first I thought it could actually have been Rico's boys firing back for killing Rico but then we see the blue Mustang and then you're thinking holy fucking shit Tommy Egan is back in town. So Tasha goes straight to Tariq at Stansfield, she says they have to go now. But how and with what money because this is the conversation with Jabari and this is where this comes in with Jabari telling Tariq that he knows about him selling drugs and that he knows that he knows Drew and all he wants to do is write his book about Tariq. I knew Jabari was a dead man. There's just no way Jabari was leaving this episode alive because he knew way too much information at that point in time. And how I spoke about people earning their death, the moment which sealed Jabari's death was when he followed Tariq and found out information that he should never have known. So Tariq meets up with Jabari and he hands him his money but in comes Kane from around the corner who pops Jabari, he's bleeding out now. Kane at this moment in time thinks that Tariq is a snitch because Jabari is asking Tariq who killed that boy in the pool, was it Drew to harder? And that's when Kane pops him. This is the conversation between Tariq and Kane that really distinguishes between the two about how smart they are. Kane acts on rage and emotion again but Tariq tells him that he can make the, all this Ramirez shit go away as well as all the other bullshit and he needs that gun. 
because they need to now do something about Jabari because he knows way too much information and we were wondering whether Tariq was going to catch his first body of Power Book 2 Ghost and it happened in this very moment with Tariq popping Jabari after he told him that he is a killer after he killed his father to protect his mother and he also killed his best friend to protect his family which he was talking about Kanan. I guess the clue was in Jabari's character description when he said that he was going to act like a father figure to Tariq. He doesn't want a father figure and we know what happened to his father so the same was going to happen to Jabari. But let's talk about Tommy Egan's and his role in the season finale because this shit was epic. There was no better way to end the season than with Tommy Egan's return. At the moment I spoke about earlier when we saw that blue Mustang roll through the streets of Queens. We knew it was only a matter of time before we saw him and we did see him because he was back visiting Cash. And I think Cash could have a bigger role to play in the power universe at some point in the future as well. But Tariq was waiting on Tommy Egan's car and you know this conversation was just going to be awkward as shit. And this had to happen at some point in time because I made a video a good couple of weeks ago saying Tommy and Tariq will come face to face at some point in time in the power universe and how they've left it in the season finale I do think they're gonna see each other again but anyway Tommy said that Tasha was gonna catch a hot one for sure because when it comes to snitching she knows the code of the streets better than anyone and Lakeisha that was another reason why Tommy said he owes a bullet to Tasha Tariq said he's got a plan to get them all what they want and that was to fake Tommy Egan's death so let's just talk about that now Tasha gets into a car and Sax is there because they all know that Tommy Egan has been spotted with his mom's BMW and this is something I spoke about earlier on in the week. Was this Tommy Egan in the BMW? You fucking bet it was. And he was waiting for Tasha not because he was after Tasha at this moment in time. He wanted the cops to follow him because he knew the cops would be around Tasha and that was Tariq's plan. The cops started chasing Tommy Egan, he goes straight into it, an already planned explosion that completely blows the BMW up and what they think Tommy inside. So there goes Tommy Egan, well that's what they thought anyway, but we all know better at this moment in time. Tasha saw the car on fire and this is a key point, Tasha saw the car being blown up but she doesn't know that Tommy is still alive and that's the key point that I'm going to be talking about in detail in the week. But Tommy called Tariq, he told Tommy that as far as the feds are concerned, Tommy Egan has been incinerated. Tommy told Tariq that he was getting off at 95 as they speak and as Tariq told him Tasha isn't going to testify against him, he said that I guess this is goodbye. But we all knew better than this, we all know Tommy Egan better than this and as we saw Tasha at Rayner's grave, I thought Tommy Egan would be popping Tasha right there and there and she'd be joining Rayner and Ghost, literally. But there's Tommy Egan lurking behind a gravestone and just as he popped up and had his gun ready to pull the trigger, I thought it was lights out for Tasha but this again, another smart play from Tariq St. Patrick because he knew that Tommy Egan just wouldn't leave Tasha and when Tasha was taken by the FBI, out comes Tommy Egan to grab Tariq. Just another slick move that Tariq pulled and Tommy said that he should have popped Tasha when he had the chance. He made a promise that Tasha is dead but in comes Monet Tahada who put her gun to the back of Tommy's head and classic Tommy says who the fuck is riding with you that's got the balls to put a strap on me and this I don't think we've seen the last of this right here. I think we could well see this again in the power universe but Tariq said to Tommy that he wasn't wrong. He did what he had to do even though people hated him for it and he was talking about Ghost. Tommy said that all this shit that Tariq pulled was exactly just like Ghost and Tariq said well if I see you again maybe I'd be worthy of his name right? Tommy said we ain't ever gonna see each other again but you can bet they are coming face to face once again and Monet and Tariq look over Ghost's grave as he admits to killing his own father Ghost but one thing Tariq did say ghosts never die and what he meant by that was he's ghost. He wants to be worthy of taking his father's name just like he told Tommy and the next time they meet Tariq St. Patrick really will be ghost. So that's the end of Power Book 2 Ghost Season 1 with Tariq St. Patrick saying one day he'll be worthy of his father's name ghost and no doubt we'll see Tommy and Tariq reunite once again because as Tommy Egan would say this shit right here this ain't over. So drop me all of your thoughts and comments down below in the comment section because I'm going to be releasing my second video in the evening tonight talking all things Tommy Egan's return, Tommy and Tariq's conversation and remember I'll be putting your guys comments up in my video so make sure you drop me your thoughts and comments down below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.